Hey YouTube, it's Max here from Pendulum Tuning. This is just uh, an update video on where the supercharger's at. Um, so, got the extra batteries in, um, and I've actually already tested it on the new batteries, um, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but yeah, uh, I mentioned in the last video that there was a little bit more to the supercharger that I haven't shown. Um, so, this is sort of the extras, uh, don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, we've got a water pump. Um, these are the electric water pumps that Volkswagen Audis use um, when the car turns off uh, so that the turbo uh, cools down, doesn't cook. Um, and this was basically the cheapest um, motorcycle radiator I could find. I uh, couldn't really care less about um, how it looks. Um, function is important, um, but yeah, considerably more durable and larger than a PC ra radiator. Uh, and the water pump also will handle higher temperatures, so I, rather than use a standard um, water pump that would break. Um, yeah, so um, this stuff here is pretty special. Um, so it doesn't look like much, uh, and well, yeah, it isn't much. Uh, but this is the controller. Um, so this was what this is what will be inside the car. Uh, don't really worry too much about the looks. Um, this is just prototyping. So this is function. Um, yeah, it does have an OLED display and a light up uh, knob. So that's cool. <laughs> um, yeah. So the control side of the supercharger is probably an overlooked side but would really be the most important side it's 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 the most important side to a turbo setup um, and equivalent is it's the most important side of an electric supercharger um, so yeah the way that it works is it has two inputs uh, one input is for throttle position and that will tap into the throttle body and the other input is for the map sensor. Um, this is just a naturally aspirated map. This isn't, this isn't the map that I'll be using, um, but they're all the same uh, in operation, basically. Uh, so in the controller is two modes of uh, control. There is throttle position control. So the supercharger's output will be determined by the uh, by the throttle position uh, so you know we, it, it, and you can set the desired starting and stopping points the minimum and maximum points and plot that um, uh, in the controller so what it may look like is that at 40 percent throttle input the supercharger will turn on and at say 80 percent throttle input the supercharger is running 100 percent um, but those values are change, changeable, so maybe at 20% throttle input, which is basically it turns on as soon as you put your foot on the accelerator, uh, and then at, say, 100% throttle input, it runs at 100%, and throughout that it will interpolate the values, um, or it will go to the predefined values that, that you set in the controller. So that's one mode. The other mode, the better mode, um, or the alternative mode, is... Uh, using the map uh, and, and that will be based on map um, uh, pressure so a PSI uh, and, and also um, throttle position and so throttle position will represent um, a, a given load input um, and, and that uh, will allow the desired boost pressure to be interpolated over a load map so little sounds a little complicated i guess yeah it's sort of getting into tuning um territory uh, but put simply uh you set a desired psi at a desired throttle position and the controller would automatically control the motor's output to achieve that desired pressure so if you wanted two psi at 40 percent throttle position and you wanted 10 psi at 100% throttle position or load, then this controller will automatically control the output 
of the motor. The motor's power will automatically be controlled, so up and down. If it only needs 30% motor power to achieve 2 PSI, then that's all it will uh, use. And if it needs more than 100% power to achieve 10 PSI, it will just run at maximum. Um, so that mode would be the best mode to, to operate it in, uh, so that the, the supercharger can basically just control itself. Uh, there's also a limitation set in the controller, so you can set a maximum boost pressure. And this is actually very useful if you were planning on putting the supercharger in an already turbocharged or supercharged car, uh, like compounding setup. So as soon as the controller map uh, detects a pressure that's over the maximum limit, the supercharger will maintain its output to maintain that desired pressure. And if the turbo takes over completely, then the motor, the supercharger, will actually turn off. And you can activate a secondary throttle body that bypasses the supercharger, so it's no longer a restriction. Uh, this, this is actually a really good feature, and it's definitely, um, I, I do plan on putting the supercharger on my own um, car, a uh, turbo car, um, and playing around with that, um, because, uh, Having a compound setup uh, where there's no parasitic or you know back pressure loss um, is probably a highly efficient way to use this supercharger to spool that turbo up, get it going, uh, and feed it with boost pressure until uh, it completely takes over. So yeah, what I might do is I'll pick up the camera and we'll have a look at the car that it's going in. So I bought this um, Alfa Romeo solely for the purpose of putting the supercharger in it. I got it for a thousand bucks. I've already relocated the battery um, and it's just sitting in a in this state now until I put the supercharger in it. I couldn't think of a better car to put a supercharger in. And you'll find out why it's a thousand dollars in a second. The paint is unfortunately gone. So I've already um, done a high performance exhaust modification. I'm not sure if you can see down there. And also up here, I'm not sure if you can see down there, but a performance flow through modification has been made. And actually I'll show you something. This is this was a bit of a bit of a bit of a laugh. That's a motorbike exhaust. Why not? <laughs> Sweet. Well, enough talking. Um, I'll put this on a little tripod here. And we'll get this thing going. I'll just use this one. Now what you won't know uh, on the camera is this thing is incredibly loud. It is way over 100 decibels. Uh, it's ungodly loud. So I'm just going to turn the microphone down so it doesn't blow it out. Alright, here we go.
motor's pretty hot. Oh, the wires are um, pretty hot. Yeah, the motor's pretty pretty warm too, but not hot. So the the water cooling's definitely doing its job. Oh, the housing though, toasty. Yeah, that's really, that's quite hot. Yeah, I'll leave it running to kind of cool. This the controllers. It's not hot at all. These wires, they're pretty good. Oh, okay, we're hot here. These big, these big wires here are good. Nah, these wires, nah, these. Yeah, they're they're too hot. So more batteries. Turn this down slightly. Yeah, warm air is coming out. Yeah, so that's basically uh, this, how it's going at this moment. You notice that the um, current wasn't that much higher um, than uh, what I was, what I mentioned, and well, what I was expecting. Um, these batteries were definitely not up to the the challenge. Um, so another set in parallel. Um, yeah, it looks like at this point that I'm actually going to have to go from 12 cell to 15 cell uh, and raise the voltage uh, to get more out of the supercharger. Uh, it'll also help with cooling. Not running as much uh, current through through these wires will actually uh, you know, improve the efficiency of the wires. Um, higher voltage in high power applications is always better. You'll notice that with the electric cars and motorbikes and things like that and the high-end electric bikes they they all run really high voltages you know 70 volts 150 volts thousand volts 500 volts 900 volts um, all really really high voltages uh, and that and that basically it's so you can run a, a, a you know, voltage is pressure uh, so you but you get more out of um, your components um, so yeah, unfortunately, um, as far as the supercharger's performance, um, yeah, that's that's the limit right now is the batteries. Um, those extra three cells, though, will make a huge difference. If anyone's had any RC cars with lipos, um, yeah, you, you, you know exactly what three cells does um, to a brushless setup. So, yeah. Um, that will be the next step, getting more batteries. So yeah, it sucks that they've doubled in price. Um, but yeah, these batteries here, this brand here, these, these seem like fairly reasonable um, value batteries. So yeah, Mossworth, got them from AliExpress. They were the cheapest, cheapest place I could find them and without making my own. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna cut these apart um, and and, and, and join them in a um, five cell configuration. Um, so five, 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 five. Um, so six batteries in total, but um, three, in para in th three in series, um, and then in parallel. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if I really want to cut these open. Uh, it will improve the efficiency. These wires, um, you know, they, they, they're nowhere near um, the gauge that that we need um, to flow these levels of currents, but they do the job. Um, um, yeah, so it's one of those things. I, I let, this is all prototype. This is all paddle pop sticks and hot glue at this stage. There, there's no, this, this isn't a production. Um, this isn't the production version. Um, so yeah, and really it's, it's uh, started as a project that, um, you know, I thought, you know what, instead of doing these crazy projects, um, how about you do a project that you might be able to sell? <laughs> because I, I, I certainly couldn't sell my nitrous motorized push bike or uh, my electric scooter that did 70 plus kilometers an hour. The, 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 the smallest electric scooter you could possibly buy at the shops and I decided that it needed to go 70 kilometers an hour. <laughs> um, but yeah, 
Well, um, I might wrap this video up there. Um, there's not really much more to talk about at this stage. Um, so yeah, I've, I've, I've really got to pull my finger out and um, yeah, work on getting the supercharger in here. So this is the next steps. Uh, we'll be getting it in here and getting some batteries. Um, so plenty of room to work with. Plenty of room. Sweet. All right. Well, till next time. I'll uh, I'll see you later. <laughs>